The truth is, I am Iron Man. We're still far from the iron suit, but watch out, Tony Stark. We're starting to catch up to you. Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra Matos, and we're talking about a robot device that can turn anyone into a superhero. It's the Titan Arm, here on I.O. A robotic device called the Titan Arm has been invented by engineering students. This device could help the wearer lift an additional 40 pounds. It's equivalent to the weight of a four-year-old child. So imagine picking up a four-year-old child, but it feels like you're picking up a teacup. Man, that would be great for moving day. Maybe we'll be able to rent one. This Titan arm looks and sounds like it's part of a superhero costume, but it's designed for the average person. It's perfect for those who may be in need of rehabilitation or just a little extra help in lifting something of extra weight. It's basically a battery powered arm brace attached to a backpack. This design has won the team up to at least $75,000 so far. This arm was designed for a school project by classmates Elizabeth Beatty, Nick McGill, and Nico Vladimirov. They're all students at the University of Pennsylvania. Most of the components are made out of aluminum, and the cost of creating this arm is just at about $2,000, and the device weighs 18 pounds. There are a ton of potential users, Grandparents who find it difficult to pick up their grandchildren, now they can pick them up with extreme ease. Experts say that the aging population is the perfect customer base for these exoskeletons. So maybe we'll be seeing this arm out soon. The Titan team is refining the device as we speak. So in the future, will these kind of devices become just as accessible and will everyone be using them? Not because they need them, but because they just want them. And then what comes after that? Exoskeleton wrestling? That'd be one hell of a smackdown. So would any of you guys wear one of these devices? As for me, I personally would rock one. Why? Because I'd be like Ripley and Aliens. Get away from her, you For more on this story, click on the link below.